Democrat office and say, I'm running sex slaves. Good, we'll help you. I'm going to steal votes. Good, we're going to help you. The Beto O'Rourke's campaign, how they're bringing in smuggled caravan people. This is what they do. It's who they are. They're the mafia. And they want to break this country completely. So here's a piece from Fox earlier uh, with the sheriff talking about what really happened. Even sharing any information with federal immigration authorities that is not available to the general public. Here's Stanislaus County Sheriff Adam Christensen. Of course it's being politicized. The last thing in the world I want to do is politicize the death of Officer Singh. But let's go back to Ron. An immigrant. Immigrated here lawfully and legally to pursue his American dream. He achieved that goal. And his dream was taken from him. No, we shouldn't politicize it, but we have to have a conversation about restrictive legislation that puts our communities at risk. California Governor Jerry Brown's spokesman issuing a statement saying, quote, California law fully permits the sharing of information on dangerous gang members. I'll stop right there. Former state says, no, they don't. And neither do the mayors of places like Oakland or San Francisco. They tell the MS-13 dens when ICE is coming. To the point where federal law enforcement can't even tell these cities and counties, their sanctuary cities, over 900 of them, that they're coming or there'll be people waiting to shoot them. The answer is cutting all federal funds off from sanctuary cities, period. The answer is cutting USAID funding completely for refugee programs because these are not refugee programs. These have been weaponized against our nations in an admitted globalist plan. They are a pack of criminals. And I'm not talking about the illegal aliens. Most of the people trying to get here illegally are just desperately poor fleeing the hell they were in. But they're bringing it with them, folks, and diseases and everything else. Uh, by the way, this is the last day. It may extend until tomorrow, but we're almost sold out of everything. Uh, X2, we're almost sold out of the original X2. We're almost sold out of Rainforest Plus. We're almost sold out of Body's Ultimate Turmeric Formula. We're almost sold out of Super Blue Fluoride Free Toothpaste. We're almost sold out of more than 30 best-selling items. All the t-shirts and extra large and larger sold out. So you had to stop the free t-shirt deal. Now it's a free gift. Store-wide free shipping, 50 to 75% off. Double Patriot points on your next order. And... Wait, wait. Okay, so here's where we're at.
the speech and then they ban you. Well, that doesn't make any sense. We have to tell both sides of what's happening. We have to tell the truth. We have to expose the evil that's happening in the world. So that's, that's some of what I'm going to cover. Exactly. I mean, er everywhere. We want massive decentralization. That's really what we want because that's how we win. It's the centralized control of corruption that destroys the ability of people to act independently and to think for themselves. So I know even you, Alex, you, you don't want everything to go through InfoWars. You want InfoWars to just be an example, an example of liberty and freedom so that other people can be inspired to do their own version of liberty and freedom. And that's what this is really about. You know, it's no longer, it, and it's not even about ego. It's just about fighting for humanity. We are on team humanity. And I, I feel the same way. You know, I'm, I'm here today because I'm fighting for team humanity. I do what I do every day because I'm fighting for team humanity. You know, we're so far past this being a job or a career. This is about survival of the human race at this point. That's what we're fighting for every day. And we invite everyone who wants to be on that team. And you don't have to be huge. You don't have to You don't have to have a big multi-million dollar operation. You can just tweet out the right hashtags. Exactly right. And, and along with that is this mass decentralization. I think 2019 is the year of accelerating decentralization because the, the, the governments are, in essence, losing trust. The, the people don't trust governments anymore. The people don't trust the centralized media. Well, it's, it's clear that this is going to accelerate until something dramatic changes. Uh, Apple just told us last night that they're going to ban the natural news app, by the way. So, so we're being censored off of Apple. I've been censored off YouTube for almost a year now. This is accelerating because they plan to unleash big action. I'll just put it that way. Major action against Trump and for the 2020 election. And you notice that Warren, of course, just announced that she's running for president. That was a strategy after she announced that she's no longer going to claim to be a woman of color. This is Mike Adam who's filling in for the rest of the hour here on the Alex Jones Show. Thank you for joining me. This has been a very interesting show already. I've been listening. And a lot of talk about the positivity for 2019 and beyond. And we just see on the record that one of the most positive truths that we should all embrace right now is recognizing that humanity has a choice. Humanity has a choice about where we take the future of our world. Are we going to live as slaves under a techno-tyranny run by uh, fake news media organizations, uh, cry bullies in the education system, language police everywhere? Are we going to submit to that? Or are we going to rise up with reason and passion, love for liberty, and love for humanity, love for our children, love for our, our nation, love for safety and, and the rule of law. You know, that's a choice that we have as human beings right now, being that we're conscious, but making that choice, and this is what's critical, and this is why InfoWars is so important, making that choice requires us to be informed. And so the primary focus of the corporate controlled media is to control that information and also isolate you from the truth. That's their point, because they want you to be enslaved, obviously, you know that, but they do that by isolating you from truthful information, which is why the censorship has to target InfoWars or Natural News or you know, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, whoever. That's why. Because the truth is now defined as hate speech. The truth is hate speech. And as another great example of that, Facebook is now banning the sharing of our articles to talk about the dangers of 5G networks. Think about that. When we talk about brain cancer being caused by exposure to 5G cell signals and the weaponization of the cell tower network, Facebook bans that and says it's a violation of their community guidelines. So wait a minute. Does that mean that if we say ah, cell towers are awesome, everybody hold a phone to your head so you get cancer, that Facebook would say, yeah, that's good, that's okay. You can share that. Good information. Good on you, mate. Is that what they would do? But when you warn people about 5G and you try to protect humanity and you try to help people be safe, maybe limiting their time on a 5G device or moving out of the city and not even being exposed to it at all, that's considered offensive? That's considered a violation? Same thing with vaccines. If you try to teach people, hey, why are you vaccinating these young infants with so many vaccines at such a young age before their immune system is developed? Why don't you, even if you're, 